computer communication networks, like most things, can be classified in many different ways. For example, you can have personal networks, like you have at home, or industrial networks, like for offices or hospitals. You can even classify them according to the devices that are in the network and whether they are wired or wireless. However, the easiest method of classifying communication networks is to classify them by their range or size. Before we get into classification, we need to understand what constitutes a network by defining the network structure. All networks must include a sending device or a receiving device which the user can use to input commands to send data or request to receive data. They must also have a connection device which connects all the network devices, essentially creating the network via transmission media. and a communication device which addresses, translates, routes and allows inter-network communication. Networks can be classified into one of three groups personal area networks, local area networks and wide area networks. A personal area network is used for communication among computer devices and peripherals in proximity to, to an individual's body but may not belong to the person in question. These types of networks often use a single transmission media to pair the devices in the network over a 10 meter range. Types of transmission media can include USB, infrared, which is IRDA, Bluetooth, uh, which is radio waves and is the most common, and short range wireless transmissions such as Wi-Fi and RFID, which use microwaves. Devices in personal area networks are usually mobile devices, but also include hardware peripherals such as Bluetooth keyboards. A local area network extends the geographic range from 10 meters to 300 meters. Lands are often found in homes, schools, computer labs, or office buildings. Devices include desktop computers, laptops, printers, and a central switch or wireless router to allow for connectivity and data transfer. Typically LANs are arranged in a star topology around a central routing device, but networks can be wired or wireless. Transmission media includes fiber optics for high-end networks or network storage, but generally use Ethernet cable or 802.11x Wi-Fi. A modem is required to connect a local area network to a wide area network. A wide area network is a telecommunication network that covers a broad area for example, a WAN can link across the metropolitan, regional, or even national boundaries. Business and government entities utilize WANs to relay data among employees. This is called a virtual private network, or VPN. WANs require many different types of hardware devices and transmission media, but perhaps the most important devices are the modems. The modem allows you to connect to networks outside of your LAN. The router is also very important as it makes the translation and passing of data packets possible across the WAN. The internet is an example of the world's largest wide area network.